Hello, my name is Lee Sotelo, and I am going to be doing a Think Out Loud. As you can see, the title of this article is, Is Your Online Privacy a Merge? Government Request for Google User Data Jumps. As you can see right here, we have a footnote, which at the end of the page, you can see what their word means. A merge is something that appears to be real, but is actually fake. Um, well, right here it says November 14, 2012 by H.M. Efton, original article. Well, November 4th is a recent date. I think we should highlight it because it's very recent right now. So we should highlight yellow. 12. Legend. Yellow means important. Facts. So, I'll minimize it. Continue reading yesterday. Google released their latest transparency report sharing how much information they have supplied or suppressed based on government and copyright owners. Legal demands. It seems our government and everyone else wants to min monitor those same people for different reasons. Um, Here's another footnote, legal demands, which also means in the bottom, the government or court can request internet records to be released. So, because I am a little bit confused about this part of the article, I will reread it. Yesterday, Google released their latest transparency report sharing how much information they have supplied or suppressed based on governments. As this talks about, it talks about, about how they might be showing too much information on other people, but I am unclear, so I will highlight it. Blue. And I'm uh, putting my legend as unclear things. Continue reading. Copyright owners' legal demands. It seems our government and everyone else wants to monitor those same people for different reasons. Well, I guess they are talking about how some people may be stealing other people's information and maybe copyright, selling them, etc. Continue the paragraph. Government request for special users data has been keeping Google's team hoping Google reports on these requests by annually covering the six months ending on June 30th and December 31st of each year. In this most recent report covering the first six months of 2012, U.S. government agencies made almost 8,000 requests to see private data on over 16,000 users and accounts in most recent full year. July 1st, 2011 to June 30th, 2012, and UC U.S. government has postponed data on 20 28,524 Google user accounts. Perhaps General David Petrus and John Allen accounts were among them. And so how I left off. This paragraph may be talking about how each year they have like a, I think a contract, 
coach agencies, thousands of requests to see private data. Oh, so as it says here, that they are talking about how their private data has been seen by over a thousand people and is requested by many people. I am still unclear about this paragraph, so I will highlight it blue. Continue Google compiled with over 90% of these requests, which were typically demands for data and criminal investigations globally. Google received approximately 21,000 such requests in the past six months, a 33% increase over the same period the year before from 31 countries including India, Brazil, France, Germany, and United Kingdom to name the top five after the United States. I'm going to go to highlighting yellow because this paragraph has important facts in it such as when Google compiled over 90% of these requests which were typically demands in data investigation which I think means that they use people's information as like so people can see investigations or something. Globally, Google received approximately 21,000 such as requests in past six months. That's a lot, in my opinion. We'll continue. A 33% increase over the same period the year before from 31 countries, including India, Brazil, France, and United Kingdom. The name of these are some. What I noticed by reading this, I will highlight it red because I think these places were wait these are important names of places that we should know as you can see I am going to label it right now in my legend <laughs> Minimize it. However, continue reading. However, Google isn't the only internet company that has to comply with government subponas for data. They're just the only major internet company that provides a public report detailing the volume of requests for data as well as a biannual report on requests by copyright owners and government to remove information. You won't find re reports like this from Yahoo, Amazon, Facebook, or even eBay, although they are all subject to s the same regulations. Well, I'm highlighting yellow as you guys can see because this paragraph seems like it has important facts as well. As you can see, here's another footnote, which means most websites are forced to share information when the government requests it. They just don't all report the information to the public. By seeing this footnote, it really helped me understand that they were talking about that the government tells them to when to give them information from other people, but they don't tell the people that are in their website, such as Yahoo, Amazon, Facebook, or even eBay. But the most common one is Google. So as you guys may know, the bottom has the footnotes and everything with the words, all the words in the article have these numbers where footnotes are at. And you can see I highlighted important facts, important facts, unclear things and important places that may help the reader know about the article. As you may know as well, I just finished reading the article, so this was my think aloud, thank you.